Shalom, shalom. I just want to do a quick video here uh, for some useful items in the case of a grid down event, a blackout, okay? Now this can either come from, I don't know, an attack on the power grid, a cyber attack as Klaus Schwab has been warning us, um, uh, possibly even rolling blackouts by the government to reduce power consumption, um, as well as a nuclear EMP, a, a high altitude EMP detonation by China or Russia. Okay, so these are some things to think about. I definitely believe a blackout is coming soon. Uh, many of us are experiencing small blackouts here and there. But I just want to share a couple handy items. Now this is uh, actually something that I want to talk about first, uh, which is leaving uh, left behind uh, material uh, in audio format. Okay, if you have friends or family in the uh, proximity of your house or, or something and let's say the rapture happens and there's a blackout at the same time uh, which I think is going to happen according to the Ken Peters uh, prophecy of the tribulation that the dream that he had in the 1980s uh, you can look it up if you haven't seen it uh, but he said there was basically a blackout uh, right around the time of the resurrection and the disappearance of a bunch of people okay about a two-week blackout. So I thought this was a good idea. This is uh, something I got from Amazon. It was only about 10 bucks, and I'll leave some links in the information section below. But what it is is, it's a, uh, it's like a Bluetooth speaker, but it also works as uh, a, a something you could play audiobooks on. <clears throat> there's actually a little compartment here where you can insert a micro SD card so you could upload uh, you could use this uh, transfer case plug it into your computer or hook it up to your phone somehow download a bunch of audiobooks and then be able to play it in this speaker okay so what I did was I downloaded some free uh, audiobooks okay there's like some chapters of the Bible that I downloaded as an audio book okay I'll leave some links some free links in the comments section below but uh, basically I included uh, the book of Enoch, the book of 2nd Ezra, the book of Joshua, uh, the book of John, the book of Revelation. Okay, to leave behind. Because if people are just sitting around uh, twiddling their thumbs in a blackout, <laughs> okay, it would be good to actually hear some uh, biblical insight as to what's going on. And what better book is that than you know, the book of John or the book of Matthew, chapter 24, or let's say the book of Revelations, <laughs> okay? So that's definitely something to consider. Let me see if I could just do a sample. of Enoch, wherewith he blessed the elect and righteous, who will be living in the day of tribulation, when all the wicked and godless are to be removed. And he's... Okay, so I also downloaded some free, copyright-free music, Christian music, okay? And also I downloaded uh, the book of Enoch, the R.H. Charles version, uh, is public domain, so you can't put a copyright on that, Okay. Uh, but I've also included a link to a copyright-free uh, version as well, uh, even though you can't copyright something that's public domain. Anyhow, uh, so that's something to consider. 
and uh, basically I, I made an EMP case so this goes in here okay and then it's supposedly uh, EMP safe this has metallic Faraday fabric tape okay so I used uh, Faraday fabric tape I lined it uh, the whole thing with the Faraday fabric tape and then I used uh, some Gorilla Tape to, uh, you know, as a barrier to protect it from any uh, scratches or punctures. Okay, so it's a pretty durable little EMP case. Okay, so if an EMP goes off, they can listen to some audiobooks and hopefully get saved. Amen. Now I wanted to show a few other items. This is something that I got uh, for off-grid camping as well as if I was going to be homeless. Basically, it's a solar uh, solar panel. It has four solar panels, but it's the real main part to this is the uh, battery that's hooked up to it. Now, this is a, I think it's a 25,000 milliamp. I can't remember exactly how much it is, but it's uh, it's a pretty significant uh, battery, and you supposedly can charge it with the solar panels, but it lit literally takes forever. <laughs> so if you really want to char charge it with a solar panel, I recommend probably getting like a 30 watt panel or something to charge this thing, and maybe your phone or something, but. This is about 30 or 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave some links. Okay. You could also throw this in a Faraday bag as well or a Fa uh, EMP case. But basically, it's just a battery that can be charged using sunlight, although it's very slow. So I don't really recommend using these panels. Um, so you could like charge your phone. Okay. Charge your phone. Or. You know, this is actually really handy. This is about $10 as well. Okay, this is a, a light bulb that you could plug into this battery and it should last for days. Okay, so it's a very low wattage light bulb, LED light bulb. And uh, it's actually pretty bright. So if you're in the dark, uh, this would actually be quite helpful. And I've used something very similar recently. Uh, when the storms were hitting California. Okay, so this one, I'll leave a link for this one as well. It's about 10 bucks. Okay, so there's the light. You could change the, the brightness of it. Okay. It gets actually really bright. It could almost illuminate my whole room here. Okay, but you could also make it cold light as well, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, for 10 bucks, I mean, that would be quite helpful uh, in a blackout situation. And uh, this is, what, what was it called? 25,000, uh, let's see, 25,000 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, right there, 25,000 milliamp battery. It also has a little light here, but... I don't know, I probably wouldn't use it, <laughs> personally. I would just get a headlamp or something, you know, one that you could wear on your head, <laughs> okay? But, you know, these things are, they'd be helpful, but the, these things aren't going to save us, okay? You can go out and, and drop about $5,000 in, uh, in solar panels and, and uh, battery banks and solar generators, and all of these things, but you'll have no guarantee that you'll be protected from an EMP or that some crazy person doesn't raid your house um, or that, you know, um, that the sun will even be out. I mean, if a nuclear bomb hits your state or something, it the, the nuclear fallout will block the sun for days. So you won't even be able to use any solar panels or anything like that. Okay, so these things are, you know, just to, you know, possibly help people 
who are left behind who maybe could, you know, uh, listen to a little bit of uh, the, the Bible and audio book or read a left behind letter or, you know, get saved uh, when the tribulation begins, when the rapture happens. Okay, these, you know, you can't, you can't prep uh, to, to try to uh, save your life. Okay, Jesus says those who seek to save their life will lose it, but those who lose their life uh, for his sake will find it and find everlasting life or something like that. Okay, so Jesus is telling us we have to give up our life. We have to be willing uh, to sacrifice our own uh, our own desires, our own our own selves, uh, if we wish to be saved, because we have to trust trust in Jesus, okay? Because Jesus is the only one who could save us from the judgments that are to come. The four horsemen, okay, they're about to ride. And Revelation six says that the four horsemen uh, kill one fourth of the world's population. So that means if you're left behind, you have a one out of four percent or four person one out of four chance that that you're going to die either by by famine or, or the war or uh, pestilence or uh, a various various other judgments okay so these you know this might be helpful okay it might be better than lighting a candle and trying to find your way around the house in a candle, using a candle, okay, but th this is something that I thought would be kind of cool, it's only about $10, and if you have a spare micro SD card, it's free to download uh, the, the audio books that I was talking about, and they could actually charge this using this, if there is sun out, I mean, you, this, uh, this will last probably a couple days, uh, just by charging these few things. Uh, but if there's sun, you might be able to charge the battery itself. Uh, but again, it takes takes quite a while <laughs> to do it that way. Okay. So I just thought I'd share that with you all. Um, I believe time is very short. If you don't know Jesus, Yeshua, as your Lord and Savior, please confess and forsake your sins. Believe that He is God, that He died on the cross, to pay our sin debt, that he rose from the grave three days later, and that he ascended to heaven to sit at the right hand of the Father. Okay, and he's coming back for us very soon. So we, in order to be saved, we have to repent, turn away from our sins, follow Christ, receive his spirit, and become born again. Then we have to be obedient until the very end. Amen. And shalom until next time.